Hello friends, in this video, we will see another problem based on the syllogism rule. Sum plus all gives sum. Okay, sum plus all equal to sum. Okay, so let us consider two syllogism statements. The first one is some books are pens. Some books are pens. And the second syllogism given is all pens are all pens are papers. All pens are papers. And the first conclusion given is some books are some books are papers. Some books are papers. And the second conclusion given is some papers are books. Some papers are books. So you have to select option A if the conclusion 1 alone is true. You have to select B if the conclusion 2 is alone true. You have to select the option C if either 1 or either or 2 is true. D neither 1 I mean neither the first conclusion nor the second conclusion is true. E, you have to select if both the conclusions are true. Both the conclusions are true. Right? So now let us come, so let us see what the syllogisms are given. So if you observe these two syllogisms, the first one is starting with some and the second one is starting with all. And the predicate of the first statement is equivalent to the subject of the second statement. So then cancel both of them. So sum plus all, according to this rule, sum plus all will give sum, sum plus all. So the derived conclusion is going to be start with sum. So here the subject may be the subject of the first syllogism or maybe the predicate of the second syllogism. So here the, the conclusion contains the subject from subject so the conclusion subject may be the subject of the first syllogism or the predicate of the second syllogism right so if you are taking this papers as a subject here so then books will become predicate if you are taking books as a predicate then here this papers will become subject Okay, so now I am taking this books as a subject here. So that means some books are, so this paper will become predicate here, papers. And then another one is possible if I am taking these papers as a subject. Some papers are, so here the subject in the first syllogism will become predicate. Some papers are books. Okay. So first time we are taking books as a subject and we got this one and second time we got uh, we take this books as a predicate right? okay and the sec first time we take papers as a predicate in the derived conclusion and the second time we took this paper as a subject so the, for the from whenever some plus all is there and the predicate of the first statement and the subject of the second statement are equal then we can derive two conclusions like this. Okay. So now compare the derived conclusions with given conclusion. So if you see here, some books are paper. Some books are paper. So that means the first given conclusion is true. So if you say second, some papers are books. So here we got some papers are books. So that means the second conclusion is also true. The second conclusion is also true. So that means if both the conclusions are true, so which option we have to select? We have to select option E. How to select the option E. Okay. So I hope you got this one. Sum plus all is equal to sum rule. Okay. If you have any doubt, please leave a comment and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.